Hello everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Free. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. If you are new in this channel guys, so this is my channel Tech with Free and I post tech videos on every Monday and Thursday and you can find the list of the videos here and you can watch the video that is required for you. Okay, so it's all tech videos guys and uh, first series I have completed with Windows Server and now we have started a new series that is Cloud Computing okay and also don't forget to click the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever i post a new video also you can check my facebook page and my insta account and you can follow that now enjoy the video bye bye now this is the 13th video of our tutorial series called cloud computing with microsoft azure in my last video, we have understood the concept of Azure Monitor and have shown you how you can uh, do different kind of things like diagnostic settings, uh, Azure Alert, all these things, and you can monitor your, uh, you know, different kind of queries regarding the, uh, what should I say, like the CPU rate, uh, the memory consumption, and there are so many uh, options where available, like metrics and uh, also the uh, logs, right? on a very very important topic that is the azure virtual network or you can say azure vnet so in azure uh, this call as a vnet or the virtual network so we are going to start today uh, we will see how we can create the virtual network in azure and in further videos we'll continue the networking part like we will see also the azure uh, vpn express route and also routing table and all kind of things all right so make sure you understand the concept of virtual network and uh, then we can move together all right so let's not waste any time and let's go to our azure portal okay right now i'm in my azure portal you can see portal.azure.com now to create the virtual network uh, what you need to do is that you need to search for virtual network you can see virtual network under the virtual machine and here you can create the virtual network now before creating that vnet or virtual network let's understand what is this so virtual network like uh, it is a glue uh, you could say that binds all other azure resources that requires the networking so we have seen that once we created the virtual machine the virtual network got created automatically and with the subnet also as because uh, that without virtual network you cannot create a virtual machine right now you can see this is the under the virtual network section we have a uh, vnet or virtual net that is the azure vm net and this is the virtual network that we have used in our virtual machine okay now before creating a virtual network i'll just quickly go to the virtual machine and that we have created the vm01 that we have created uh, and here if if i just open it you can see under the networking section it is uh, the virtual network is the azure vm vnet that was the default that has been created right so now if i just go back to the virtual network again now you understand this is the azure vm vnet uh, that has created so now you understand what is virtual network a kind of concept now we will go to the portal and we'll see more about so i will just going to create so i'm going to create a new virtual network and this virtual network later we can add in any of the resources like any virtual machine when we create okay and we'll see that how we do that okay now under that under the basic section it is common like others so it is asking for a resource group subscription is the free trial so i will just quickly create a resource group here for our networking purpose so let's give it at az vnet you can give anything now uh, we have to name our virtual network so we can set like uh maybe our vnet or like that's not a professional name maybe az vnet 01 yeah and then again you know uh, we have to deploy our resources as your resources in a region so you can choose any of the region so it is by default it's east us so let it be and next we move to the ip address section so this is very very important under the ip address so guys again like uh, i'm not going to cover the very basic idea about ip address because i think you know already but if you have any any doubt any one of you having any doubt i have already uploaded video regarding ip address and nat in my youtube channel so you can go ahead and check it and clear your concept on ip address private ip public ip and so many things has got clear so uh, here you can get the link right now it is popping up and you can just go ahead and check the video 
now this section is you are creating a virtual network now the very important steps and this section is the ip address where you need to mention the addresses you are looking for like for an example by default it can you can see it's 10.1.0.0 slash 16 so slash 16 is nothing but the cidr range cider range it calls cidr and it is the uh, you know you are mentioning the subnet uh, by defining this slash 16 or 24 so we'll see uh, so let's delete it and let's create a new one so i'm defining the ip addresses ip address range for my virtual network and that range or that ip address is gonna use in my azure different in my different azure resources okay so i will just create uh, let's do it from 10.0.0 which is a you know it's a private ip address class a ip address if i'm not wrong and then i can give a slash and then i have to specify the subnet or the cidr range so for an example if i specify 24 and you can see that it is saying that already a virtual network has created with the 24 uh, the same address space so like the virtual machine that we have created that was with the same network address space so you can see uh, by mentioning 24 see the address range is starting from 10.0.0.0 as we have decided and slash 24 means it's up to 10.0.0.255 okay so by default it is if i just click in the below it is taking 256 address okay so you will have 256 address if i mention this address range 10.0.0.0 slash 24 so 256 address will be there in this virtual network okay now you can say that okay it's very uh, little it's very less actually so i can just change it to 16 and if i just down it now you can see we have these we are getting space of 65536 address we are getting okay and you can see after mentioning 16 now the address space has changed to 10.0.0.0 10.0.255.255 so the less number you choose like for example if i choose 8 then i'm gonna get more addresses so for us it is fine we can also like it is saying that it is uh, again like conflicting so i can just do it one thing i can just change it to 10.1.0.0 so these are address space that we have configured for our virtual network okay now uh, it is asking if i need to uh, you can choose add ip6 if you need it so for the time being uh, i don't need that and if you just check check this box you will get this uh, this is the ipv6 format but we are happy with the ipv4 now here is very very important thing that you need to configure that you need to add a subnet now what is a subnet subnet means you are dividing the network so if this is the main address space that we have 65,536, you can divide those address in different subnet also for your work and we'll see uh, how it will work in future. But now we are going to divide our main address space. I mean, this total 65,536 uh, address into different into two subnet. OK, so the rule of the subnet is that you have to choose address range of the subnet uh, between this between the address space only okay now if i click on add subnet and now i'll give a name so i will give it first as a front end subnet and the range should be again you can give the full range i mean like i can just give 10.1.0.0 slash 16 it will be the full range so if you want to create one subnet then you can do that but i want to create two subnets so i will just divide it 24 so I'm taking from front for front end. I'm taking a 251 IP address by mentioning 24 the CID range. And uh, for the time being, you can just leave it the service endpoints and add gateway. So just click on add, and you can see there is a subnet that is added that is called the front end. I will add again another subnet that is the back end. In further videos, you will understand why we have created uh, this uh, two different subnets. So we will go in the routing table and we'll see the use of it. All right. Now here I'm gonna choose again. Uh, for this, I have chosen from the back for the back end. I have chosen 10.1.1.0 slash 24. Okay. So I'm again taking 24. I uh, I'm again taking 251 IP addresses. Okay. So at the beginning we have the 65,536 addresses, and then we divided into two different subnet from front end and back end, and we have taken 251 uh, address space. Okay. Or IP addresses. In further, I can have I can add another subnet. So let's keep our address safe. Then after that, we will go to the security tab 
now you can configure bastion host here and you need to configure another subnet for that and this is just for the security purpose uh, ddos protection standard that is uh, disable you can you can enable it uh, the basic uh, ddos protection uh, you can get so ddos protection is nothing but un, i mean uncontrollable traffic sometimes which can stop your server so that is a kind of thing that is not good for your server or for your website so if you turn on the ddos protection then azure will take care of it however it is the basic version that azure is providing you can upgrade into the standard or advanced section and for that you need to pay so i will just leave it at default disable for the time being let the firewall disable because we will have uh, videos on how you can create firewall and configure firewall in coming days so we will see about firewall next tag uh, again it's the same thing uh, if you want to mention you can mention it just to remember or maybe in the billing purpose it helps i've shown you already and finally i can just create now so we will see what we have done so this is our resource group is it vnet uh, this is our virtual network name this is the region we have hosted this is the ip address range 10.1.0.0/16 and we have two subnet this and this backend and frontend okay now i can hit on create and within few seconds it will deploy your virtual network and here we go your deployment is complete so you have successfully uh, create your first virtual network i can go there and you can see this name is azvnet and under the subnet section we have two of the subnet frontend and backend okay and where we are having 251 ip address available under backend also we have 251 ip address all right now uh, let's quickly i will go to the home and i will create a new virtual machine and i'll just show you that you can add this virtual uh, network in any of your virtual machine so under the basic section let's just skip it and go to the networking and under the virtual network i can select the drop down and choose our new virtual network that we have created the azvnet01 and you can see uh, we will able to choose our subnet from backend and frontend and uh, like this okay and we'll see about the public ip address in the next video now this is it for today guys we have understood how we can create our first virtual network and in further videos we will demonstrate it and we will use the subnet and other things if you have any doubt guys please ask me question in the comment section i would love to give you reply and also please like the video if you find it helpful and share with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.